Welcome back to Tack and Track. I'm Gil. And I'm Brad. And today we're going to be talking about our latest and greatest project car. Yes, now it's not going to be the Challengers. Nope. Not going to be the Cougar. No. Nope. Not the 16. It's not going to be the Miata, my favorite one. No. We have something even better in mind. 1999 Dodge Neon. Yes, that we purchased for $5 from a wonderful customer of mine who wanted us to have it so long as we destroyed it for him. So we're going to do that, um, what, May 5th? Uh, May 6th, I think, May is 6th. actually the date. Um, so here's the game plan here. We're going to build this out as... A left-hand turn dirt track car we're gonna have a blast with it there if and this is a big if mm. if it survives that we're gonna try and take our $5 race car to rally cross and if it makes it through that if it survives we're, we're getting ambitious here we are going to run it in lemons at Barber Motorsports Park right here in Alabama mm -hmm. so you think we're crazy we're, we're taking a five dollar car and going racing the point here is that having a race car having fun on the track doesn't have to be incredibly expensive because this can get real expensive real fast real fast and so we're going to try and do this on as absolutely shoestring of a budget as humanly possible have as much fun with it and have something that doesn't really matter and we're off to a good start for five dollars here's what we got uh, this has a small four-cylinder in it uh, today. In fact, we got all four cylinders going. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but the car ran good. It stops good. It got decent tires on it. It even had an AC. The interior was actually pretty nice, although we have stripped it. It's in the back of Brad's truck right now. Um, but we have a very nice car to start with that did hit a deer. We have pulled the deer hair out of the fender and pulled the fender back where we can open the door in case we catch on fire. But uh, we've got a great place to start. And Brad, why don't you tell us a little bit about what else we need to go racing to be safe. All right, so once we've stripped this car out of everything, the next step for this thing is going to be putting the cage in the car. Now, we're actually not trailering this car. This car runs and drives, has a tag on it, everything else. So we're still streeting the car around as we go. So we put the factory seat back in the car now that we have it stripped. But we're going to put a full cage in this car. Uh, I'll pop up a picture of that cage for you guys. We'll put a full cage in this car. We're going to put a four-point four harness in it and a full race seat. And that is actually going to be the most expensive part of this car is actually going to be all in safety equipment in order to make sure this car is safe. And that is the most important thing. It's, it's a lot of fun to go out, but you got to be safe and it's it's okay to spend a little bit of money there we spent five hundred and eleven dollars on the cage and shipping do keep in mind shipping on a roll cage is going to be expensive then from there we're actually going to have a professional race shop fab that up for us and then we're on to seats and harnesses and we may actually go ahead and put a fire suppression system in this car before we actually even take it dirt track racing so that's going to be the majority of our expense in getting this car set up is safety equipment. But it's going to be a hell of a ride once we get it done. And you can't beat your bang for the buck here. Five dollars? Hell, it was worth that just to get it home. Uh, it's got real alloys. Real alloy wheels. They look like they came straight off a 1999 Dodge Viper. Yeah, we actually stopped at a Milo's on the way back from picking this car up, and I spent $13 on a cheeseburger and some fries. So I really feel like this was pretty good value. For five bucks and what if we put 100 150 miles on this car yeah this run, that was on three cylinders <laughs> it ran great we also haven't put gas in it yeah we're ahead there yeah that's true uh, so stay tuned for project developments we'll pop back to this car um once we have the cage in it and once it's kind of set up and we'll kind of walk you through the setup of this car beyond just stripping it and that's where we are right now is we've pulled the interior we've kind of stripped it down and we're ready for a cage so stay tuned for further setup and we'll have to change the setup a little bit as we change what type of races we're entering it in and we'll keep you guys apprised of that too so thanks for checking us out today on tack and track we'll see you next time <laughs>